school report at Calderstone School. We are interviewing Kira Brody, who is a member of the UK Youth Parliament and also a student at Calderstone School. How did you feel when you were first elected? Um, I was very proud because uh, we only have two members of Youth Parliament in Liverpool and uh, it's a great opportunity to kind of um, represent the young people of Liverpool, of which there's a lot, um, on a national scale and influence um, what's going to be happening to, to us on a national scale. And how were you elected? Um, I was elected through Liverpool Schools Parliament, which is um, an organisation in Liverpool made up of all the secondary school councils. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. How do you feel when you are standing in Parliament with all with, with some of the with some of the most powerful people in Britain? Um, it was scary because like there is a lot of pressure attached to it because Parliament is the place where well war has been declared in Parliament, so it's a it's a big deal. Um, so I, f- I certainly felt a certain amount of pressure because not many people get the opportunity to do it. So um, MPs get to speak in Parliament and members of Youth Parliament get to speak in Parliament and that's it. Um, so I really wanted to um, do it well and do it properly um, because that's probably the only opportunity I'll ever get to do it. Do you feel um, proud of your accomplishments and if so, which one is your most proud of? Um, yeah, I do feel proud because um, I suppose I got involved with um, this kind of youth parliament through joining my school council and I joined my school council because I wanted to make a difference and um, I think that I've been able to do that through the youth parliament um, and a difference for a lot of young people. So, for example, um, in Liverpool, um, do you use the My Ticket, yeah, on the buses? Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so it's a two pound save way that we introduced in Liverpool um, to reduce um, transport costs for young people because we felt that they were too high. So, yeah. <laughs> so since you're a member of the youth parliament, what type of things are you fighting for as, as a youth? MP and why? Okay, so um, at the moment um, we're um, campaigning for vote 16, um, which is something I feel passionately about um, because I feel that you get certain rights at vote 16, um, which should constitute you being able to vote, but we're not allowed to vote. For example, um, you can get a job and pay tax, but you can't influence how that tax is spent. You can join the army and fight for your country, yet you can't influence the country's foreign policy. Um, I think there is a certain amount of like um, youth disengagement with politics in that we're not interested because we're not kind of like empowered through school and education, political education in school, like there's no pressure for it. Um, so I think that if we did have votes of 16, um, it would mean that a lot more young people were having a say on sort of big policies in government. Yeah. And, and how do you think that your time at Calderstones has shaped you and, and helped you? It's helped me a lot because I wouldn't be doing it now if I hadn't joined my school council. Um, so, and now I'm able to study um, politics and economics at A level, which I know in a lot of schools you can't. Them subjects aren't offered. Um, so I think that like being a member of Colstones has certainly um, like broadened my horizons. Um, thank you for answering our question.